Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 11th of July 2024. I'm well behind the Sudoku schedule today. It's already afternoon here and I haven't played any Sudoku yet because I've been busy. I've had internet trouble, still have some email problems. I've been listed as a, <laughs> as a spammer, well, blacklisted and I'm not a spammer ever. Uh, and... Um, what else is going on? Oh yeah, I just had lots of I had urgent work come in and I've had things to do and I've still got things to do which I haven't done yet. So I should get on with this game of Sudoku in just a second before I notice. Can you imagine if you work in airport security and you're x-raying a bag and there is a clear image of two hand grenades? What would you do? Hit the deck? <laughs> I wonder. Uh, certainly stop the bag from going through, which they did in Hawaii. Uh, a Japanese man had a couple of inert hand, gra hand grenades. They weren't actually uh, l loaded or dangerous uh, but you know the airport security went to know that were they <laughs> and uh, I could imagine the, the panic that must have set in when they saw that, uh, that, that uh, the image of that all right let's get on with the game of Sudoku shall we we've got five this is the Guardians hard level puzzle it's the Thursday first hard level puzzle of the week Thursday Friday we have hard level games according to the Guardians schedule Anything popping up? Oh, well, I can't get started, so I think I'm going to... Oh, there we go. So you just click on the digits in order to see. Two this way, that way. Two up to the top. Well, let's do it, do it like this. Two blocking this square, two blocking this square. That gives me a two up there. Across here and five down there and there. seeing much here
Uh, I think the missing numbers here are one, four, six, and seven. One, four, six, seven. Yes, one, four, seven. Attack this square. That's got to be a six. And so now we've got three and six blocking across here. Three and six blocking across here. So we have ourselves a pair of three and six in those squares. How does it help? Uh, let's look across here. We've got three and six, so we're looking for four, five, uh, seven, eight, I think. No, that can't be right. We've got five there. Four, seven, eight, and this was three and six. Four, seven, two, four, seven, eight. Is that right? Yes. Uh, so sevens two four yes okay I'm just, <laughs> I've just got to work this out this is three and six I just got to double check this I don't want to mess it up two four seven or eight two four seven and the two blocks those two squares there and this two blocks that square so that's a two so we have four seven and eight here now sevens are obviously here four and eight I don't know about so now we have two blocking across here two blocking across here and nine blocking across the same rows and two and nine up there so we have a pair of two and nine here now what this is two and nine this was three and six Two nine three six. So four blocking up here gives us four in that square. Two nine th and three and six, three six and two nine. Uh, so one is definitely in these squares. So we got one blocking up here, one blocking up here, one across here, and one across there. There's a one. And seven has to be in these two squares. This was uh, three and six wasn't it down here so seven blocks this square so seven is in one of these two squares blocking across seven blocking across here there's our seven took me a while to understand that um, we've got one blocking like this there we go so one across here and across here like that there's our one yes I know that was all pointless I could it was only one empty square but sometimes if I'm just on a roll I have to go with it Uh, one is finished. Two across here and across here and up there. So there's a two, two down this way, up that way. There's a two. We know this was, I've now forgotten, this was six and three. This was two and nine, wasn't it? There we go. Um, Missing numbers here, four, five, and eight. We've got five and eight together. That has to be a four. Four blocking across here will give us four in this square. four blocks in this direction so four is in one of these two squares let's say four is across like this and up there and up there four 
fours this way, this way, and down here. We'll give us four there, four up there, up there, and across there. That's the end of four. One, two, and four are finished. How about threes? Anything we can do about the threes? Not sure. Eight down here and across here now. Eight this way, this way, and down there. Okay, three down here puts three into one of these two squares, blocking up, going up there. That's a three there. Uh, the last number to get down here is seven, I think, and this is an eight. Ah, six down here, there's a six. One of our missing numbers here is three. Oh, there's just three to go in this column. That's all I need to say, actually. It's threes, sevens, and sixes that are giving me nightmares here.
and threes, sixes and sevens. What's going on with that, those? I'm going to have to put in pencil marks, which is unusual in The Guardian. Uh, but I'm going to need to because I have to finish this game. Like I said, I've got other things to be getting on with. Uh, this is three and six. I'm just sitting here all day, blindly trying to play the game without notation for no good reason. Uh, seven's up there. Three blocks down here, doesn't it? So we've got three cities. These three sixes and sevens are just everywhere. Six blocks across there, there's the sixes. Oh, sorry. Six, hit the wrong key. All right, let's fill these digits in properly. What's the first number we need? Three. Um, okay, so threes are along the top there. Here, threes can go anywhere. Fives we still need. Fives go up there. Fives are possible in these squares here. Sixes are up there. Uh, somewhere there, down here, somewhere. And do we know anything over here about six? I'm going to say no. Uh, sevens are in those squares. These squares, as I said, three, six, sevens are just about everywhere. Sevens are up there as well. Eights are there. And there. Okay, I'm not sure I've got everything. I'm just going to quickly click through, make sure I did all the blocks. I think I've got all the candidates, but I may have missed some. Okay, I think I've got all the candidates in then, so let's have a look. Let's see what I can do. So in the top here we've got three, six, seven, nine by the looks of it. Three, six, seven, nine, four numbers in four squares. So these can't be three, six, seven, or nine. That's got to be a five, eight. Let's get rid of the three and the six there. And this, we get rid of the six and seven. So we get a pair of five, eight there. So now we've got a pair of five and eight here. It means that this 8 is no longer true, and it means that this 5 is no longer true. We have a pair of 6 and 7 there. And. And, come on. This is the only 3 in this column now. Uh, I think, yes, it is. Okay. That's the only three in the column, so the six is here, 
So six has to be in this square here. Let's do some housekeeping on sixes. Uh, obviously six has to be in the top row. This can't be six now. And these can't be six. This must be six. And this is six. This is seven. That looks like enough to give us the game, I think. Five. Eight there. Five there. Yeah, that's definitely enough to finish off the game from this point. So, uh, tougher than the average Guardian game, I guess, unless I just missed something very obvious. Those threes, whatever they were, the, the triple numbers there were giving me such a headache, I was getting nowhere finding them. They're done now. Eight and five, that's our Guardian hard level puzzle over a Thursday. Thank you, Guardian. Will I be playing other Sudoku games today? Not sure. I will try. Take care. Bye-bye.